off together. Do you think the series would have been forgiving for that? Or what do you think would have happened at that point? Well, I, I think that he really did love her. I, you, you don't get that hurt over something, over you know losing a shred of honor, I don't think. You know, so for me, it was more he got his heart broken hard for the first time. I mean, we've all been through it, right? Our, you know, they always say they had that one song, the first cut is the deepest, right? So when you when you have that first heartbreak, you take it the hardest of all the ones that will follow. And I just I think that was an unfortunate moment of him giving up a, a bit of like who he was and, and put, putting what he worked his whole life for at risk for this woman and putting his heart out there just to and not come to fruition in the way he desired, you know, cause he, he wanted, um, he even said, him, let's do a marriage for love, you know, instead of this political nonsense. So I think he really loved her intensely and passionately. And I, I, I even part of me thinks that she may have reciprocated most of those feelings, maybe not as intensely, but she wanted to make sure they could maintain relationships and, you know, I could I saw their relationship growing closer at, like as the episodes passed from number one through here to number five. Um, yeah, so I, I do think that it was a true love scenario. He felt the love emotions, and it wasn't just because you know he's like, ah, darn it, I done screwed up my vows. <laughs> like you know, what I, mean? <laughs> like, I, I definitely think it was more so he thought he like that that their love would overcome. It, what her duties were and you know to the second part of your debate if they did decide to to run for it and and go with those piles of oranges on the boats and ships uh i i think (laughs) that um they they would have been pursued if not by um viserys himself later on throughout the years after viserys died because at that point in time if she drops her we claim to the throne or whatever she's still alive and it's still a threat and they and she's still got a dragon and can come back at any time and still cause a, cause a problem or pose a threat and because of that i don't believe auto you know i don't want to say anything because whatever but my point being is there are some people that come back into power and into play here as these as these shows go on or on the episodes go on and i don't think he would have or, and they would have if we talked about like you said we mentioned this is where we kind of first see team green right when the old town said we have you know we, we stand by your side you know queen allison here so i don't believe they could have allowed rhaenyra to live so they would probably have pursued them through essos and the free cities and try to eliminate any potential challenge even though they got what they wanted with Aegon on the throne here at this point because that's what would have happened if they would have ran off Aegon would have took the throne I don't think they would have lived happily ever after I definitely think that they would have been tried they would have been pursued and you know they would they would try to kill them and on top of that as well not even just from that side of things where it comes to the 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 team green versus the Rhaenyra here at this moment in Essos, but when we got to think about what would happen with Damon, like where does he come into play if these people run off together? If if Rhaenyra and and Chris and Cole run off at some point, maybe he just gets like he's like hell no. Maybe he thinks it's more of a uh, he kidnapped her type deal, and then all of a sudden you got Damon on Kristen's ass. <laughs> like I don't know, dude. And then, <laughs> then you got like Caraxes and uh, Cyrax having like this little conflict. Maybe if he goes there and she tries to he tries to take her back and. And Kristen doesn't have like who knows like there's it just could be a whole pile of shit but like in a fun way to watch on screen don't get me wrong like I would still tune in for that but I just I don't I don't think it's gonna you know, obviously he had no like you mentioned he had no plan it was just like yeah let's just go and like you know whatever happens happens like no dude like you guys are gonna put yourselves in danger for the rest of your life and if you don't have a plan you're fucked so that's kind of my my take on it is that they would they would not be living happily ever after they would have uh, you know, threats on their life consistently until they finally did pass away from old age, or if one of the, you know, attempts on their life were successful. That's that's my thoughts on it. There. I don't know. What do you think about it? I agree with you 100. percent I mean, I wonder what his thought process was there. Like jump ship and like swim to safety. Like where was he gonna go? Were they gonna hop ship? Like jump ship and swim to the next island and then kind of go from island to an island and try to get to his patches of oranges i don't, just don't know what went through his head i mean i agree with you 100 i think he truly did love her because no one breaks down like that 
uh, unless you're truly in love. And especially, you know, I don't want to give anything away, but how it affects him for a long period of time. I think it would have been fun to watch on screen, but it definitely would have taken this storyline off course. Like, talk about going off the rails there. <laughs> like, it definitely would have taken it off course. Not only I think she would have been disinherited, but just like you were saying, you would have had probably Otto and these people probably track her down as like assassins and stuff.